the arena stood in silence after the random woman made her proclamation, You promised to marry me? Gaka just stood there looking confused but in the stands, Balma knew she couldn't just stand by, she knew Gaku was gullible from their adventures and she sure as hell was not going to let some hussy do this to him. Like hell he will. She screamed from her seat drawing the attention of the gang and people seated next to her, she got up from her seat and headed to the arena, she could see she had drawn the woman's attention who was staring daggers at her. The whole arena seemed to go silent as she trekked down before she stood next to the ring about to step in. A miss if you step in there your friend will be disqualified, the announcer said causing her to stop but she was still staring at the woman with daggers in her eyes. Listen here, I don't know who you are but I'm not going to let you take advantage of my Gaku like that. Kai Kai wasn't listening mostly but picked up on two words my Gaku. She scoffed turning her back to Gaku and completely focusing her attention on Boma, like hell he is yours, he promised to marry me. That just made Boma scowl harder like he knew what marriage is, you're just trying to take advantage, Kai Kai walked up to the edge of the ring ready to beat this hussy for stealing her future husband but stopped short at the end of it. She knew she couldn't stand out and judging by the smirk on the blue-headed bimbo had, she knew that too, eh hey, hey, guys? Both the woman turned to Gaku who was rubbing the back of his head confusedly, what's marriage? The whole arena seemed to face bomb as Krillin rushed to frantically explain, hey everyone he doesn't know because he lived in the forest most of his life, cut him some slack he said laughing nervously. Alma knew she had to capitalize and was quick to explain Gaku. Marriage is a partnership with someone for the rest of your life. Someone that you really like and has always been there for you. Gaku still seemed confused and rubbed his chin thinking, so like Krillin? Both the girls and Krillin's faces paled, I mean, if you want. But, Alma was trying to find a way. Just a way to explain as she and Kai Kai made eye contact, Krillin nervously rubbed the back of his head, thanks for the compliment Gaku, but I'm good, like Gaku, how do you feel when you see me, Alma asked nervously, she knew that question carried a lot of weight even if she didn't mean for it to, Gaku was her best friend, back then she had only thought of him as a kid but now he was a young man and she wasn't going to let some random nobody steal him from her. From their friends, she rushed to reason to herself. Well I like you Bulma, I thought about you all the time when I was training at the lookout, we have known each other for so long, I feel like my life started when I finally met you and I was really looking forward to seeing you again. You're pretty and I like you a lot. So I should marry you, Gaku said with a big smile. The whole arena was watching with a vested interest and being sure to be quiet to avoid interrupting. Kai Kai was furious her future husband was flirting with some woman, let alone right in front of her. But Gaku, remember how you said you would stick to your word? Your promise, Kai Kai said with a smirk at Boma. That had Bulma worried as she saw Gaka scratching his head thinking as he looked at both of them, she knew how much he liked to stick to his word, it was nice when it was in her favor but she hated that at this moment it was against her, Master Rashi was already having visions in his head of what he could do with two women, as he kept on laughing pervertedly with drool coming out of his mouth, um sensei, Krillin asked as he shook the man, meanwhile, Yamko had been sitting watching all of this unfold as his girlfriend, or should he say ex-girlfriend since they had their most recent breakup a day ago, he was hoping that they would bounce back as they had always done, not her already flirting with someone, let alone that someone being Gaku, Yamko was struck frozen in a state of shock as Puar was shaking him trying to break him out of his breakdown, Yamka wake up, Yamka. Alma was staring up at the other woman and was now seriously considering beating her to a pulp, she couldn't beat her in a straight fight but she had a capsule of a mech in her pocket for security and she wasn't afraid to use it, 
Rashi shot up from his seat scaring the surrounding group away, practically booting Krillin away, Gaku, the answer is so simple my pupil Rashi screamed from the stands drawing the attention of everyone in the arena, who looked at him and then back at Gaku awaiting his answer, Balma was looking at Rashi, the perverted old man was probably thinking of something bad, she was still surprised how he had failed to corrupt Gaku. She knew it was probably because Gaku didn't care but liked to believe he was pure of heart. Shut up old man, Kai Kai shouted from the ring, but that didn't seem to dissuade Rashi as he kept drooling with his creepy laugh, everyone could see the nosebleed falling from his nose, Gaku, wh why don't you just marry them both? The mumbling in the arena died down as everyone processed what he had just said. For Gaku however, it was as if a bulb had been switched on, that's a great idea Master Rashi, I knew I could always count on you, both the girls paled as they turned to see Rashi standing in the standards victoriously as if he had solved the whole problem, and they were going to kill him, the two women locked eyes as Kai Kai jumped down from the ring earning herself a disqualification but she and Bulma were on a mission. The entire crowd watched silently for what was going to happen but everyone had an idea as some of the fighters started moving away from Rashi. The female fighter has been disqualified, and Gaku is the winner, Gaku had wanted to at least fight a little but he was going to get ready for the next round, Gaku, wait, Krillin shouted at him trying to get him to stop the two women from killing Rashi, even if the shiver he felt run through him was. He knew Rashi was going to somehow enjoy the beatdown, the rest of the Z fighters moved out of the way as the two women stared down at Rashi fuming, mostly because now they knew it would be hard to change Gaku's mind now that he had an answer that seemed so simple, both of them had wanted him for themselves, let's kill him, Kai Kai said, agreed, Bulma said as she took out a capsule. Gaku could only hear screaming coming from the other side of the arena, he didn't really worry about it as he knew the others would have it in hand, plus he had other thoughts on his mind as he had food on his mind, when Gaku met up with the group again was when he was stretching for the final battle, the rest of the tournament had gone by as expected but Gaku was still enjoying it nonetheless, it always amazed him how each of the fighters fought differently. That's why he still enjoyed turning down his power so he could enjoy the fighting more. The fighter that had caught his attention the most though had been Piccolo Jr. He didn't know who he was at first but after a tense exchange with him, Gaka finally learned how they were connected. Apparently, he was the son of King Piccolo and kept calling himself the Demon Prince and was here to seek his revenge. The group when they saw Gaku again there was tension between them, well not all of them because he noticed Master Rashi was wrapped in so many casts that Gaku couldn't see any part of his body, the only way he knew was some broken shades placed over the cast, Balma and now Kai Kai were also with the group but stood on opposite sides of the group still throwing glares at each other, they both had tried to get a moment to talk with Gaku but they had been interrupted every time they tried, and before they knew it, the final was about to begin as they sat in the stands. Balma and Kai Kai were both nervous, they had seen how Piccolo kept talking about killing Gaku and after seeing how he was basically not taking the threats seemingly not seriously, they were worried, the first started with the two blasting towards each with frightening speed as they engaged in their melee, the audience in the arena could feel the power of the blows from the distance as the two danced around, after fighting for a while the two jumped away from each other with Bulma and Kai Kai both letting out a sigh of relief that Gaku was okay, they could see the two exchanging some words and turn to each other trying to see what was going on, well, that was before a man, One of the fighters named Hero jumped into the arena and tried to do something to Piccolo and was sucked into a bottle, Piccolo waved around the bottle tauntingly at Gaku before he swallowed it, 
Both of their attentions were caught again as they saw Gaku suddenly removing a part of his GI that made a loud crash into the ground. The two engaged in another fight much more dangerous than the last as the wind coming off them was noticeably more intense. Alma and Kai Kai had been forced to seat next to each other by the Z fighters in an effort for them to actually enjoy the fight because the two's constant arguing across them had been very annoying. The intensity of the fighting only kept growing as they suddenly started throwing key blasts. The Z fighters were smacking any blasts that got too close to the group. The audience in the arena started clearing out as beams flew past and all of them scrambled to get out of the arena, till it was only the hardcore fans and commentators still watching. Gaku threw a hard punch targeted at Piccolo's stomach and the green alien spat out the bottle with a wrench. Krillin immediately rushed at the bottle on Gaku's instructions. Krillin opened the bottle and the fighter hero immediately came out of the bottle. He was breathing heavily trying to get his bearings till his eyes landed on Gaku and Piccolo fighting, suddenly his form started to shift, Krillin was shocked watching it as Hero shifted into a being that looked similar to Piccolo but older with a cane, Kami, Gaku asked momentarily distracted that Piccolo landed a hit, Gaku focus, Bulma and Kai Kai shouted in unison as they watched the fight nervously. Somehow they had not noticed that they were holding each other's hands in what could be considered a death grip nervously watching on. Everyone watched on nervously as they fought and now it was clear that Piccolo was going to lose. Once this was evident to him, he got angry and vengeful quickly glancing at Gaku's friends and seeing the weakest ones fired a blast. Alma and Kai Kai paled as they saw the blast heading their way before Gaku suddenly appeared in front of them and smacked into one of the empty stands causing an explosion. Gaku basically growled before charging in again for what looked so much like a one-sided BA down that only seemed to stop after a few minutes when he kicked Piccolo to the ground, cracking the ring. Gaku landed next to him still huffing and he turned to see Kami walking next to him. He could see him holding the bottle, he had seen what that bottle could do as he saw Kami walk in next to him, it is time to seal him, Gaku held his arm to stop him, no Kami, by doing this you will just be repeating what happened last time, Kami looked at Piccolo before pulling back, Gaku didn't make some sense, King Piccolo's hate had only seemed to magnify after his time being sealed away, Kami hoped that if this did backfire, at least now they had a fighter that could win against his spawn. Krillin came to Gaku and handed him a Senzuben which he immediately took and felt his energy suddenly returning. Gaku turned a move to the now immobilized Piccolo that was glaring daggers at him from the ground. Eat this, it will restore your power. Piccolo looked at him with a lot of suspicion before sensing his key to make sure he wasn't lying. After a moment of contemplating Piccolo opened his mouth and Gaku threw down the bin, Piccolo chewed it as he felt his energy return, Gaku was already walking to his friends after they had come down from the stands, all of them still shocked by Gaku giving Piccolo the Senzu bin, Gaku what are you doing, Yamka shouted out as all the fighters got into fighting stances. They all watched nervously as Piccolo got to his feet looking around at everyone before locking eyes with Gaku. You may have won this time Gaku, but I will kill you the next time we meet. I look forward to the fight Gaku replied with a smile before Piccolo blasted off and speed into the distance. Everyone just stood there watching as he flew away. Bulma and Kai Kai stood on either side of Gaku as they watched Piccolo fly off. So what now? 